Hey everyone, today, we're diving into a groundbreaking study that's shaping the future of data storage technology. International researchers have just established a spatial limit of 25 nanometers for the all optical switching of magnetization, a key process for next gen storage systems. This discovery is crucial for pushing the boundaries of high density data storage. Let's unpack what this means and why it matters for the tech of tomorrow. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. What is all optical switching? So, what exactly is all optical switching or AOS? It's a cutting edge method where a single ultra short laser pulse is used to switch the magnetization of a material. In simple terms, this means you can flip data bits between a 0 and 1 state using light rather than electric currents. The big deal here is that this could lead to faster, more efficient data storage solutions, revolutionizing how we store massive amounts of data. But here's the catch. Until now, researchers weren't sure if this process could be scaled down to the nanometer level. That's where this new research steps in. Chapter 2. The 25 Nanometer Limit The team of researchers from the Max Born Institute in Berlin, along with collaborators in Madrid and Italy, conducted experiments to see just how small they could shrink this process. They discovered that the smallest size at which AOS can still occur is around 25 nanometers. To put that in perspective, modern magnetic hard drives can store more than one terabit of data per square inch. This means that the smallest unit of information can be encoded on an area smaller than 25 nanometers by 25 nanometers, a tiny space, but perfect for high density storage applications. Chapter 3. How does AOS work? Here's how AOS works at the microscopic level. Normally, to flip the magnetization of a material, you have to heat it up to super high temperatures, which reduces its magnetization to nearly zero. The key innovation in AOS is that only the electrons need to be heated, leaving the atomic nuclei cold. A laser pulse interacts only with the electrons, which allows the process to happen quickly and with less energy. But at such tiny scales, there's a new challenge, electron diffusion. When you heat up electrons in a small area, they can quickly spread out, cooling the region too fast and stopping the magnetization switching from happening. Chapter 4 Breakthrough in Understanding Electron Cooling To investigate this, the researchers used soft X-ray laser pulses to create an ultrafast nanoscale pattern of light and dark stripes on the surface of GDFE, a magnetic alloy. By interfering two X-ray pulses, they created regions where electron temperatures rose rapidly, followed by a localized loss of magnetization. They then used a third X-ray pulse to track how this magnetization pattern evolved, all within 40 femtoseconds. That's quadrillionths of a second. Combining these experimental results with advanced simulations, they discovered that ultrafast electron cooling at these scales makes AOS impossible below 25 nanometers. Chapter 5. Why does this limit exist? At this nanoscale level, the hot electrons lose energy super fast. As they diffuse across tiny regions, the magnetization can't be reduced quickly enough, and AOS breaks down. While researchers found that increasing the laser power can help, it only works up to a point. Beyond that, the material risks getting damaged by the intense heat. This limit seems to be a universal boundary for metallic magnetic materials. So, 25 nanometers is the smallest scale we can achieve without running into these physical limitations. Chapter 6. Implications for Future Data Storage 
So, what does this mean for the future of data storage technology? Essentially, if we can master all optical switching at the 25 nanometers scale, we could see a massive leap in how much data we can store on magnetic drives. Faster, more efficient storage could lead to breakthroughs in everything from cloud computing to supercomputers and even quantum technology. But it's not just about storing more data. AOS could also lead to lower energy consumption and faster read, write times, bringing us closer to the dream of ultra-fast, high-density memory. This breakthrough represents a major step forward in the future of data storage. While there are still challenges to overcome, the discovery of the 25 nanometer spatial limit for AOS is key to unlocking the potential of high density, laser based data storage systems. Source Max Born Institute for Nonlinear Optics and Short Pulse Spectroscopy, MBI. So, what do you think? Could this technology revolutionize how we store information in the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more updates on cutting edge science and technology. Thanks for watching Trend Storm, and we'll catch you in the next video.